Got to get these Bengals on their heels. The Bengals out of their division already having seen Baltimore and Cleveland lose today while Pittsburgh won over the Jets. Dallas, meanwhile, is tied in its division with Philadelphia, which suffered its first loss at Detroit. Both at three and one. Here we go. Nugent to send it down to Lucky Whitehead. And this will be returned from about the six. Whitehead. He bounced off his teammate Escobar for a moment, and that's a fine return. Denard on the tackle, but a 30-yard run back. He's one guy, one of the few in the NFL, I wouldn't try the short kickoff on because, if Jim, you've seen him, you watch him, he makes his decisions fast, and it is full steam ahead for Lucky Whitehead. He is an excellent returner. Speaking of full steam ahead, Whitehead, watch him bounce off of Escobar here and then find another 10 yards or so. Here comes Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense with Ezekiel Elliott, the running back. Double tight end formation at the start. It's Elliott, the league's leading rusher through four weeks. He has a gain of three. Prescott, the fourth round pick out of Mississippi State, who has not thrown an interception through the first four games. That's a span of 132 pass attempts. Well orchestrated offense for this rookie quarterback. I got to say this not against Mississippi State, but he gets better protection as a pro than he did his senior or his last year at Mississippi State, and he takes advantage of it. Well, you saw Romo still out. Getting back in about three weeks. Here's Whitehead with a first down out across the 47 yard line. So the Dallas offense, Ronald Leary at left guard, Collins had to go to IR with a toe injury. Backs and receivers, Elliott, his last two games, 140 and 138. Bryce Butler, you see, starting there without Des Bryant. Remains out with that uh, hairline fracture in the knee. Power run on the first play, a little reverse on the second play. Keep the defense guessing. That's what you do. When you're a running team, you've got to find some misdirection play. Bootlegs, reverses. Has it on his hip. Prescott. Now we'll tuck it under, and he'll sneak across midfield. Just a two-yard run. Here is the Bengal defense. You love this defensive front. Gomata Pecco having a sneaky, really good beginning to the year. Vontez perfect returned a week ago Thursday after sitting out the first three in violation of the NFL's uh, repeated safety violations on the field. Patrick is back after missing action with a hamstring. Second and eight will come right at the 50. Prescott's throw is caught for a first down. That's Terrence Williams with a nice little hook move to pick up 11. Yeah, what's really good about this, two things, protection first, but watch number 83 drive back to the football. And Adam Jones really can't make a play. Good timing, but very aggressive. Great start for the Dallas Cowboys, mixing the plays up. Yep, driving at the Cincinnati 39. Last week, coming back from a 14-0 deficit to win at San Francisco. I think what they've done these first four or five plays, Jim, they're showing that they respect this defensive line. They want to keep them off balance. Go with Elliott. Pass Michael Johnson, and a whole lot more to the 21. Here we go, another misdirection play. That's what you want to do. You don't want to go straight at this defensive line. Jason Witten gets a good block. Ron Leary, and then number 70, the right guard. I'm telling you, he is, I, I, we always hear this on broadcast, so I'm not going to say it. He's absolutely one of the best guards in the NFL, Zach Martin. Well, that's a run of 17. Ezekiel Elliott getting better by the day, isn't he? His last two weeks have been huge performances. And they go to him again on first down. And he's got more room. Wow. Got a quick nine before Perfect ends it. Well, again, it's the center, as you watch it, does a great job, Travis Frederick. And that allows Ron Leary to get up and block the linebacker in another big running lane. Cowboys with 51 yards. So far, 40 on the ground to get to this point. Second and one, just outside the 10. And Elliott takes it home for the touchdown. 
Well, I talked about number 70, Zach Martin. And once again, I just think the big keys of their running game, of course, the running back, the play call, and the play design. But Zach Martin and Travis Frederick, what's the right guard? Gets the block, gets off the double team, and then gets Ray Maluga. Nobody there to make the tackle. Oh, you're not kidding. Watch 70. Absolutely blew out the line. That freed it up for the rookie to find the end zone for the fourth time. Well, you know, I heard Cincinnati wanted part of this offensive line. They wanted to, we'll see. Pretty confident team, but boy, that drive would shake your confidence. That was power, finesse, great play, play calling by Linehan. The Bengals had not allowed a rush touchdown through the first four weeks. Extra point by Bailey is good. Elliott, four carries, 42 yards, and the touchdown. Dallas takes it right down the field. You set it up, Phil. This is going to be the clash of the big guys. The Dallas offensive line against Cincinnati's defensive front. And the first battle of the game goes big time to yep. the Cowboys. Zeke Elliott says, hey, hey, that's it. You better love those offensive linemen up. And listen, if the strongest part of your football team is your offensive line, then you put them out there first. And I'll, I believe in taking it now, the kickoff. Could give the next possession in the game. Here's Bailey, sore back and all. And it's going to be returned by Rex Burkhead. And there's a flag out as he breaks it. Well, that was some burst. He ran all the way out into the arms of J.J. Wilcox. But a flag back near the 20. It was a 42-yard return. Yeah. Definitely a, couldn't see who did as a block in the back. On the return of the kick, holding, receiving team number 31. This penalty will be assessed half the distance to the goal and first down. So Deron Smith's penalty will push him back. He'll be starting near the nine-yard line. So here's Andy Dalton. Passed for a lot of yardage, Phil, but not a lot of touchdowns. They've had red zone issues this year. They have. I, they think that the playing last Thursday night, getting the extra days, I think, I think, and heard from them, they're pretty positive about they maybe have that fix for today's game. Giovanni Bernard is the running back, and he gets the carry. Nice little wiggle and stutter step to get out to about the 16. That penalty on the kick return cost the Bengals about 28 yards. Clint Bowling injured a shoulder in that Thursday night win against Miami. He was questionable, but he starts. And A.J. Green coming into the uh, week led the NFL with 32 catches. How Wilbur is getting a little attention hit by his own teammate. Giovanni Bernard comes in that first play, makes you think, made me think, oh, it could be a pass because that's what they like to do with him. And Andrew Whitworth, the big left tackle, made the good block to get him free on that first down run. They're going to need a little more time with Wilbur. Timeout on the field. Wilbur still being checked out. They're going to go with an extra defensive back, replacing him with Anthony Brown as the Bengals get set for their second snap. After a seven-yard run by Gio Bernard. Bernard again, and nice cutback. It was open on that left side, and he spotted it. They're getting tossed down by Byron Jones. Another run. By Bernard, that was impressive. That one goes for 14. Yeah, cut back. Uzama goes down inside 87. Sean Lee, number 50, goes to the right. Or to his left, the offense is right, and nobody on the cutback. So what they wanted to see, we bring in an extra wide receiver. They brought in an extra defensive back. Let's run it against a small unit, and it worked. Well, it started out with a spread formation. They returned Bernard to the backfield next to Dalton on first down. Looking at go, Yuzama has the catch. Near the 40, give him a gain of eight. Well, this is interesting, Jim. The Dallas Cowboys love to play man-to-man -man coverage, but so far here today, we have two safeties back. Why is that? Because they want to make sure 
That number 18 doesn't run all over the field one-on-one. -on -one. So use them up. Getting the start is once again Tyler Eifert is out. He tweaked the disc in practice this week. You see Rod Marinelli, the defensive coordinator. Eifert might be back next week with the play at New England. Here's Dalton. And he's got a first down at the 44, gain of five. Well, the Dallas defense up front. The Crawfords, Collins and McLean. Collins, the rookie out of Nebraska. Wilbur started, but he's been knocked out. Lee on the outside now, unlike early in his career. And the secondary is without Orlando Scandrick. He's out with a hamstring, so Morris Claiborne. Made a big play last week in the victory against the 49ers. He is up in that base starting unit. First down. Swing it over to Bernard. And Lee wraps him up, but it's another first down. Gain of 11. Well, the philosophy of this Dallas defense, they don't blitz a lot. They like to play safe. Why? Because they trust their offense can control the game and score points. So they want to make you make these long drives. So they're going to give up some easy throws. They're going to play you one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes you can throw it out there and pick up five or six yards. They're just waiting to make a play. Hope you make a mistake. Give a penalty. And the biggest thing of all, if it all fails, let's at least hold them to a field goal try. That Bernard already with 32 yards from scrimmage. They bring in Jeremy Hill. And they hand it off on the inside. LaFell, he is taken back at the 48 by Anthony Brown. Loss of three. Yeah, we've seen this. How about this, Jim? This is the pass to LaFell coming across. It's a different wrinkle. Trying to catch a team early. Always, I think, it's a great thing. I said it the first drive for the Cowboys. The defense is excited. They usually play faster than they should. They can make mistakes by over-pursuing. Good job staying in your lanes at time of the defense. Tyler Boyd, the rookie wideout for Cincinnati, has come in. Second and 13. Dalton's pass. And complete. There was pressure. Let's check in again with Tracy. Jim, an update on linebacker Kyle Wilbur. He was taken to the locker room for extra evaluation on his neck. They are unsure whether he will be able to return or not. There he is coming in, colliding with a Dallas teammate. Justin Durant now in at linebacker for Dallas. Yep, Demarcus Lawrence off suspension. Now the right defensive end going to go against Andrew Whitworth. They are hoping he can give some pressure to the quarterback. Third and 13. Dalton steps up and takes off. And he ducks down at the 40. Wilcox was there to meet him. Picks up eight, but they will punt. They bring out Hooper. Yeah, good safe play. Here they are again, playing safe back here. It's 13 yards. It's third and 13, so they know. Just don't give up the big throw over the top. Nothing to do. Andy Dalton, good job of scrambling. And then Marvin Lewis not hesitating. Play field position. Devin Huber in his eighth year. Got a little something off this. It's a hang time. Well done. It looks good. Cross to touch it first. And then Clark Harris, the long snapper, downed it inside the 10. Dallas back out for its second drive after taking it the distance the first time. In the Super Bowl era, that would mean 50 years. This is the first time a team has had a 1,000-yard rookie passer and a 400-yard rookie rusher wow. through the first four weeks of the season. Well, these two rookies are good and fortunate, like we said at the very beginning, to play behind this offensive line. What are you thinking? Elliott is huge on the first possession with a flag thrown in. Takes it out to the 15, brought down by Pat Sims. And there were a lot of good blocks on that play. I didn't see the hold. Let's see what Tony Currenti and his crew saw. Holding 
Offense number 77. This penalty will be assessed half the distance to the goal and will repeat first down. The decorated left tackle, Tyron Smith, with that one. Yeah, he's back this week. Be the first to know your team's news with the CBS Sports app. Instant updates, expert analysis, highlights, and more. Download the CBS Sports app today. For first and 15 at the 6. Prescott to Elliott and Adam Jones. Drags him down by the shoulder pads. Gain of 10. Let's take a look at today's next-gen stats. Well, here we go. Week one, it took 5.6 yards for Ezekiel Elliott to gain one yard. Now look at week four. It took him 2.8 yards to gain a yard. So the, the whole point of this is every week he has gotten better and more efficient as a runner. And uh, we talked to him. The first thing he said, yeah, I'm kind of learning how to run in the NFL. In college, it just ran. It was there. It was open. Here you got to wait. Make sure you pick the right hole. Done a good job here the last few weeks. Second and five. And Elliott. On that left side. Can only find one. The Bengals defense. What's the key for them today? They want to get this game, of course, keep it tight. Keep it whatever. They want to get Dak Prescott into situations where he has to throw the ball against their tight man-to-man -man coverage. And... They think if they do that, they can get their hands on the football. They believe they can cover these wide receivers. As you watch Martin Lewis saying, hey, if you want to be a good team, what do you got to do? You got to go on the road and beat a good team. That's what has them pretty fired up about this game today. Dallas has been the best in the league the first month of the season on third down, converting 50% of the time. It's a third and four. Prescott's pass is caught. For the first down, and Terrence Williams is the one who hauls it in for 16. They double Jason Whitman. Watch what happens. And good job by Prescott. Here he comes up the field. He's going to be doubled. Prescott sees it and says, I'll just wait and throw over the top of it. And that's the one thing we've seen. Jim, you heard it. Jason Garrett, this is not just a young quarterback who throws it to the first guy, runs at the first sight of uh, of a pass rush, he reads the coverage, can find the second and third receivers just like a veteran. Really, really impressive. Just set the record for most passes to start a career by a rookie without a pick as Elliott takes two Bengals with him, wow. including perfect for a run of seven. Now just name a guy, everybody. Doug Free, Zach Martin, right side, they just stay with the blocks. Look, there's nowhere to go, but nobody can get off the block, so they just keep pushing the pile. I'd say Dallas's offensive line is angry. Pushing Did you say around, something over there the other day? They got upset. <laughs> man. No, I think you were the one who was talking to him. I, I can talk some trash, man. You know that. Elliott with 50 yards rushing already. There's a play action fake to Elliott and Prescott. The next again. This time he's got Bryce Butler. How about this just for a number? I'm not a big numbers guy, but Dak Prescott is hitting 80% of his play action passes when you run the ball as well as they do, and then they move him and he gets throws just like that. That was a good throw. Nice and soft, threw it low. And then you've been watching Perfect squirming on the ground, injured. But they do a lot of movement with the quarterback, and it, it makes it tough on the defense. You're, you're grinding in there, ready to stop the run, and all of a sudden he escapes the pocket. Hard to adjust and chase him as Montez Murphy comes off the field. That's a big deal. Trying to get his breath. It's only his second game back. They went for 13. He's a great run stopper, perfect. They need him in there to stop this running attack. Vincent Ray comes in for him. First down carry on the toss. And look at Elliott slip past a couple of defenders. And get a block thrown as well by Tyron Smith. And they pick up another first down. Yeah, Tyron Smith. Watch Leary. Watch the left side. Kick out. Seal. Oh, my gosh. Everybody got a good block. This is like how you draw it up on a board. Keith Smith, the fullback, comes in. You know, not too often in the NFL do you get up there and here's how the play is supposed to work and it goes exactly like that. It's going that way so far for this Cowboy offense. 
Alfred Morris comes into the backfield now. Elliott takes a play off. Lucky Whitehead now in motion. Here's Alfred Morris. And he peels off six yards. See what everybody is laughing about. Kevin can wait. His TV's number one new comedy, Kevin James, stars tomorrow after the Big Bang Theory. Only CBS. Well, you know, Lucky Whitehead, that's two plays in a row. He's gone inside and blocked. Let's just watch him here. Coming in motion. He's going to get George Iloka, number 43. Bam, seals him inside. Had a good block on that last run. And how about that for a backup running back, Jim Nance? Let's bring in Alfred Morris. He's had a little success in the league. Yeah, that was a great pickup. Of course, he did big things with the Redskins since his rookie year. Perfect is back on the field for the Bengals. As Prescott's throw is down to the five with Williams again. Called him in a rotation. In other words, it looked like there was going to be too deep, but then there's not. There's no safety to help, and it's a small window. See the safety rotate to the middle? Prescott immediately goes from his left, turns to his right, and that's how you throw it. Right on target, low to protect to protect the receiver. Prescott has hit his first five passes. Three of them to Williams. Good array of completions. This is the most variations of plays I've seen from the Cowboys this year. First and goal. Prescott still has it. Back to the end zone. Touchdown. Bryce Butler. However, let's check. A penalty marker is down. The officials are huddling at the 13-yard line. Illegal shift. Offense. Number 82 was going into a stance while the man was in motion and did not reset. Five-yard penalty. Repeat. First down. Well, Bryce Butler, when you're going in motion, you got to make sure everybody is set, and they were not. Watch Jason Witt. Motion guy, then he gets in his stance. Can't do it. Boy, nice release. They switch up the releases. Confuses the Bengals secondary. Well, a touchdown taken away. The football rests just inside the 10. First and goal. I guess run. Off, puts the ball off the ground. A little mishandling on the snap. And no game. Maybe a loss of one for Elliott. Well, he saw the defense creeping up. That's why Dak Prescott said, let's get an extra blocker in here. And that was a good snap. His bottom hand was not under it. And the ball falls straight down. The rule of thumb is it's the quarterback's fault. That's going to end the quarter. That was Prescott's first fumble. But he hasn't, of course, turned it over once yet. Amazing. Four games in a quarter. 7-0 Cowboys after one. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Way to the west. Fort Worth, about 16 miles from here. Great city. Here we go. Starting the second quarter with the Cowboys. Putting together another long drive. Five minutes plus. They've got the most in the league so far. Yep. Defense gets to stay off the field. They get to keep rested so they can come out and hustle. Here's Prescott. First option not there. Now he guns it, and it's tapped around incomplete. Adam Jones stepping in front of Butler. This is something that's really impressive. You know, you think of Dak Prescott, his college career, always a runner. Look at it. Looks to the right, looks to the middle, now goes to the left. This is what I saw a lot of getting ready for this game, and that's why they like him so much. He's pro-ready. He was taught by Dan Mullen at Mississippi State, a pro offense. So he's used to trying to find the second and third receivers. Great coverage that time for the Bengals. It's a third and goal. Prescott. Pass. Draws a flag. Witten was tangled up with Vincent Ray at the goal line. Illegal contact. Defense number 57. A five-yard penalty. And an automatic first down. Put the ball at the five. And a new set of downs. 
right in the middle. Watch it. Tough call. Put his hands on him, no doubt, but he's going to have him covered. That's one. This shows you Cole Beasley wide open because when you're reading the quarterback, he's looking at Jason Witten. That play comes up again, same coverage. He'll look one way and throw another. Eleven play of the drive that began back. Dallas is eleven. Prescott keeps it, and he has the touchdown. Well, good read. Here they come. Nobody paying attention to the quarterback. Somebody's got to set the edge, and they did not. It's Carlos Dunlap, 96, collapsed inside, trying to make the tackle. What a block by Witten, too, Phil. Yeah, Jason Witten, good block, no question. You know, listen, just an array. Look at all the different things they've done, and you forget. Oh, that's right, we got to defend the read option or zone read by the quarterback. Bailey. It's good. Yep, got to go back to 1983 and Danny White. The last time a Cowboy quarterback rushed for at least three touchdowns in a season. And he's done it here week five. So you say this offense is running efficiently? How about 10 first downs in 18 plays? Really just impressive to see. And we know the Cincinnati Bengals team, they are good. Well, a lot of times, you know, you, you think about, you see people on film or, you know, you watch it on TV, players do it too. But then when you line up against them, you go, uh-oh, they're a lot better than I thought. Or they're different than it appears on TV or film. So the Dallas offensive line, spectacular to start the game. So putting together touchdown drives covering 64 and 89 yards. Erickson decides to run it out for some reason. Yeah, explain it to me, would you? I can't. Tracy? Well, Jim, as soon as the Cincinnati defense came off the field, defensive coordinator Paul Gunther called them all over. He wanted more effort, better effort from this team. Vontez perfect back again. The leader as well also with some words for this defense, trying to spark something here on the sidelines, Jim. Yeah, he's looking for a stop. Well, what they're going to have to do is crowd the line of scrimmage more and dare him to throw the football. Look at this formation. The pole cat, that's what the Cowboys call it. I guess because if you're a defensive player, it stinks to see those kind of things. Dalton gives it to Bernard, and he bounces around for three. Thursday, your weekend starts right here. The Denver Broncos take on the San Diego Chargers. Thursday Night Football on CBS, NFL Network, and Twitter. Both of those teams in action right now. The Broncos hosting Atlanta, while San Diego's at Oakland. Second and seven. Bernard has a gain of five. We're seeing a lot of Bernard here at the start running the football. Yeah, a little surprised. Hill has not that. carried it once, Phil. Saw Jeremy Hill before the game. Nothing wrong with him. He was running up and down the sidelines full speed. Big down here for the Cincinnati Bengals. Yep, Bernard with four carries for 29. Hill hasn't touched it. Third and two. Dalton steps up away from the heat. Now fakes the throw and able to get McLean to commit long enough to dart past him, pick up the first down. Wow, great job by Andy Dalton. Listen, I'm telling you, I know this 
this offense a little confused right now because they're expecting, you know, man-to-man -man coverage where all these crossing routes and some of the things they're doing because the Cowboys play a ton of man-to-man, -man, but hey, not today. Why? A.J. Green. A.J. Green has not been targeted to this point. First down. Bernard. Quick contact by Lawrence in his return game and then able to get back to the line of scrimmage. With NFL Game Pass, watch the games you missed. With condensed games in 45 minutes or the full broadcast versions, start a free trial today at NFL.com slash Game Pass. Need a couple first downs. Of course, you always want that, but that defense of the Bengals, they need rest. Hill was the running back. Take to him, they get it to LaFell. And he runs out into the arms of Byron Jones. There you go, good job. I was expecting some screens. When he stack receivers, look out. How about Andrew Whitworth, number 77, gets all the way outside and gets in the way of Byron Jones. This was close to being tipped. As Cedric Thornton, not quite able to get the arm around there in time. That was a gain of 14. Here's Hill's first run. And it's a good one. The game of eight. James Brown is back in New York, and he has an update. David. Shady McCoy running on high tech. Yeah, running all over the place. He's uh, well, Sean McCoy's got a 53-yard run right here. This is going to lead to a Buffalo Bill touchdown by Mike Gillis lead. That will be a five-yard TD run. Bills take a 13-3 lead over the Rams. Back to Jim Nance. All right, thank you, JB and Boomer, as Hill picks up the first down. Straight ahead for four. Another Boomer. good run up the middle. This is kind of what I expected. You know, a, a Bengals team to, when they're going to play like this and take away AJ, Jim, you expect them to show power, run right at them. The Bengals experience, good offensive line. Both teams managing to run the football. Andrew Whitworth moved. Full start, offense number 68, five-yard penalty remains, first down. Saturday, the SEC on CBS rocks the best game for the best conference as Jalen Hurts and the Crimson Tide take on Joshua Dobbs and the Volunteers, all getting started with college football today. How about this? Came from yesterday, the week before, it was an amazing run with some finishes yep. that you just can't script. Yeah, we need those for Thursday night. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. Guys, somewhat our way. And the Bengals need to throw the ball to A.J. somehow. Screen somewhere. Get him involved in the game. First and 15. Dalton in trouble. Now flips it, but the flag is tossed. Able to get it away to Hill for four. They might call a hold on Clint Bowling. Holding. Offense, number 68, 10-yard penalty, repeat, first down. Seidler oh, hit Sorry. the penalties, back-to-back -back plays. I'm calling out everybody but the right guy, so. Now to bring the football back to the 40. The Bengals, I mean Bengals, the Cowboys, not a very good pass rushing team. The Marcus Lawrence being back today really helps. They don't take many chances. Here's a first and 25. And there you go, the completion to A.J. Green. Targeted for the first time, and it goes for eight. A.J. Green, this is what you do when you see this high and low coverage. Slants, inside throws, that's where you go. Andy Dalton gets rid of the football as fast as anybody in the NFL. It was really kind of funny. They get rid of it quick, but they're, when they throw it deep, they are hitting it at an incredible rate when they throw it down the field. Second and 16. Lobs it over to Bernard. 
got a good game, but it'll be still third and long coming up. Third and about ten. Yeah, interesting play when you do this play action fake. Let's watch down the middle of the field. Maybe Andy Dalton gave up too quick all across the field. He's got what he wants, but he's been under pressure. What's Tyler Boyd? You know, he's another guy. They've got to get the football to, to him to get him involved, to make him feel part of the game and be more than just A.J. Green out there. Yeah, Boyd, a second-round pick out of Pitt. He's got 12 catches through the first four games. Here's the third and ten. Dallas bringing it. Dalton. Just like their first drive. He kept it on third and long and got it to about the Dallas 40, identical to the first series. Yep, good coverage, and it's man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm telling you, there's nobody open. Jim Nance, and it's just watch them all. Just let it run, not even going to draw anybody up. Tell me who's open. They are tight. It's the one thing the Cowboys pretty proud of their safeties in their corner so far this year, covering very well down the field. It's on fourth and seven. Huber. Flew into the end zone. So just a net of 21. And Dallas comes back out. Two for two so far with their possessions. Just a little comparison here. Notable Dallas quarterbacks through their first four career starts. Uh, they're stomp back from one of them. Yeah. And there is number 12. And yes, he's from Cincinnati. He and, and Doc has not met him yet. I said, well, when you meet him, he's probably going to challenge you to a basketball game. Mm -hmm. I talked to Roger yesterday. He's very much looking forward to meeting Zach. He's in trouble here. And that's an incomplete pass. He was walloped by Dunlap. Well, Dunlap has been fooled a couple times on two bootlegs and the quarterback keep. Not this time, right up the field. And this guy, Carlos Dunlap, the last year and a half has turned into a different player. He is a franchise defensive end. Game is on the line. You've got to be careful. Always know where he is at because he can get to the quarterback. And it's. They want to get in a position where they can rush, not have to worry about the run. That's going to be tough. Here. 180! 180! Second and 10. They are running at will on Cincinnati. That goes for 17. Yeah, they just can't get off the blocks. It just shows you two things. Again, that time, when you, when you watch the run, it's Travis Frederick, the center, when he just gets to you on the defensive line. He's like glue. They can't get rid of him. Cowboys over 100 on the ground. Halfway through. 10-plus yard plays, nine by the Cowboys already. Yeah. Halfway through the second quarter, 103 rushing. Crowd down. Morris again leaps ahead. Within a couple yards of another first. Tuesday, he's not a lawyer, but he knows how to win the case. Michael Weatherly in TV's number one new show, Bull. New episode Tuesday after NCIS only, CBS America's number one network. Well, Jim, you said in the opening we couldn't wait to see the matchup. We didn't know it was going to be a knockout in the second quarter. Or it has been so far. The Dallas offensive line against Cincinnati's defensive line, and they are dominating. It's guard and the two guards in the center are off to great starts. Look at Morris. Wait for that to develop and find the first down yardage. Picks up three more. Well, what they're doing, they're actually, you know, I always say, this, just so you understand at home, they are crowding the line of scrimmage more. They got an extra guy up there to stop these runs in the last two plays. They still got a first down. Scott Linehan, the architect, the offensive coordinator. One of the, I think he's one of the big reasons Dak Prescott is here as their quarterback. No question. Scott Linehan and Wade Wilson. They love him. Jason Garrett liked him, but I think they kept saying that he really liked him a lot. Well, here he is, Prescott. And he's careful with it. Throws it in the direction of Morris. He lasted until the fourth round, the 135th pick. And the Cowboys, man, they really vetted Prescott. Going they did through. it all. Yeah, they did. And 
You had to wonder why did they wait so long to take him, but he was there with the second there. pick of the fourth round. Well, yep, and and you know there was a DUI, which was a big thing. He admitted to him. He was very upfront, said, "Hey, I made a mistake." And honest, so they believed him in that respect. And they, these quarterbacks who get drafted now, they put you through the gut of information. How much can you remember all the same most of it, all of it, and find Second and ten. And he's got Butler again on the Cincinnati side of the field. Well, they're changing the defense a little. They blitzed that time, and they took Will Clark, a defensive lineman, and tried to get him out in coverage. But once again, Prescott, quick decision, sees the blitz, throws it to the one-on-one -on -one onto the outside. And I know some people... When you talk about, oh, they don't do much on offense because he's a young quarterback. I don't know. But I've been watching. They do a lot. Third and three. Wharton for the first time. And a stiff arm. Finally written down by Adam Jones. He did it again. So doesn't panic. Doesn't run until he's forced. Watch the first guy underneath. He does a throw. He waits. The second window receiver is Jason Witten, and he puts it right on the mark. That was a laser there. That was a, that he turned it up. But you see what happened? They they looked underneath. It's an under overthrow. He goes to the right guy, right on target. That's three or four of those reads we've seen today. He's not panicked. He's thrown to the right guy every time. From the 14, Prescott to Beasley, and Dallas has another touchdown. He doesn't look to run. He looks to throw. Then you make him run. And he tried to do a little stutter go. Didn't like what he saw. Didn't feel the pressure, so he moves. And then Beasley, boy, what a terrific year he's having. One of the best slot receivers in the NFL. Boy, another just great drive. Prescott's run for a touchdown, thrown for another. Witten and Beasley, their top two receivers, had not been targeted until the last two plays. First it was Witten setting him up at the 14, and then Beasley the very next play with his first touchdown catch of the season. Dallas has not been stopped. This time an 80-yard drive. Doing all of this without Des Bryant in uniform today. We got beer and a Aerial coverage of today's game is provided by DirecTV. Dallas with five different receivers as Pat Sims and Montez Perfect have a little exchange. Four different ball carriers for the Cowboys and three different touchdown makers. And they're talking on the sideline and arguing, not arguing, because I think Pat Sims wants to know where the linebackers are. Erickson won't think about it this time. Cincinnati has to get something going. Getting blitzed here at the beginning. Big Tex. At the Texas State Fair going on right now. It goes back to 1886, of course, centering around that. OU and Texas met yesterday with the Sooners winning in the high-scoring affair, 45-40. Red River rivalry, and uh, Bengals give the football to Jeremy Hill. This game marks Andy Dalton's return back to where he lives in the offseason. He has a home about 20 minutes west of here right in the Fort Worth area where he went to college at TCU but he's in the process of building a home over in the Dallas area so Metroplex he's uh, good to be a quarterback in the yeah. NFL bouncing around well they got to open this offense up they got to be more aggressive they played it safe should be able to give any time to throw it deep down the field second and nine has no time here Never does fall to the ground, but Cedric Thornton making his life miserable. Yep, he, he runs over the center. They're doing a little play-action fake or some type of 
misdirection there. You see Zeidler pulling out. And Bodine, the center, gets put in an unbelievable position. No way he can block and stop Thornton from getting in there. So that, that's all about angles. That was a bad angle by the offensive line. Boy, I'll tell you what, you could got a penalty for continuing to run with him like that. Yeah. Dalton says, get off of me. They mark it up at the 20. Loss of six. Third and 15. Got his man, Uzama. He is stopped short by about a half yard. Well, this will be interesting. <laughs> would you dare? Was. Would you dare at this point? No, I wouldn't, but he, I just thought maybe go out and try to draw him off sides, do something, but Marvin Lewis, nope, still too early to think about panicking. But one thing, that pocket is collapsing fast around Andy Dalton. Got to have some more space as a quarterback before you can see and throw it down the field. And again, A.J. Green with only one catch for nine yards. Hubert, line drive punt, right head, fumbled it, recovered it. Did it squirt out there at the end? I don't think so, but, you know, when they start piling on, it's... I did, did you see anybody declare that it's... Dallas's football? Not yet. Nope, and they're going to wait and see who has it when they unravel this pile. Dallas football after the 43 yard punt. Took his eyes off of it. Well, we've got 201 remaining in the second quarter a play here then yep a little break both teams have three timeouts so good draw play to elliott and he's tripped up by jones give him four two minute warning cowboys 21 nothing Dallas has all of its timeouts now with its fourth drive of the game. This is the first time since 2005 Cincinnati has allowed its opponent to score touchdowns on its first three drives of a game. Man, and there was no luck involved. It was no. all just systematic right down the field marching. The Dallas, uh, Dallas offensive line has been spectacular. Dak Prescott has made some terrific reads, been patient in the pocket. You can't say anything bad about the Dallas Cowboys on either side of the football right now. From the gun, second and three. Prescott to Beasley. Ball came out as he went to the sideline, but they rule it a catch. Picks up 18. Slot receiver, Beasley. It's a catch, it looks like. Denard knocks it out. Turned up field, right? Made yep, a move. Turned up field, made a football move. Time elapsed. We got all the phrases. <laughs> Call a completion, Jim Davis. Yep. I do know what a completion is. I love that. I don't know what a completion is. The rules are there. You know, sometimes they're close, but they're pretty definitive. That's not. That's where that in the ground. In the area of Elliott. Coming up, the Verizon Halftime Report. J.B., Tony, Bart, Boomer, Coach Coward. Scores and highlights and a preview of Thursday Night Football on CBS and NFL Network for our Denver-San Diego game that will kick off week six. That's all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. You know, that was a good throwaway by Prescott. The, the cover, he could have thrown it to his right to the receiver coming underneath. It was a little tight. He knows the score, didn't take a chance, threw the football away. Second and ten. Hit. Steps out near the 50, and they'll him back actually to 48. Gain of only four, third and six, with 137 remaining in the quarter. Yeah, as this game is going along, you said it three drives, three touchdowns. We noticed it last time. The Bengals trying to give a different look every snap to confuse this offense. All Gunther defensive coordinator. Here's another, oh, everybody up there, are we going to blitz, are we going to fake it? Oh, 
They blitz. Oh, and it's dropped. Whitten would have had the first down. Yep, great. Really good job of picking up the blitz. Pretty clever, too. They dropped people down low, then they ran somebody back. Williams on the blitz. They're playing zone behind it, and... Pass a little behind him here, Phil. Just a little, yeah, but good movement in the pocket. I think that's more of what we're going to see from this Cincinnati defense in the second half, getting up there challenging this offense more. Erickson, the returner, stand back in the eighth. Cincinnati knocks the punter down. No flag. And the fair catch back at the 15. Chris Jones with a 36-yard boot. Garrett's not happy about the no call here. Got hit by Burkhead down low. As you see some of the Cowboys art collection at AT&T Stadium. Gene Jones, that's her prideful effort. Cincinnati now from deep in its own territory. Stepping up and firing it to the 36. And he's got Boyd with the catch. Boy, awesome job by Andy Dalton. We said it the last drive. That pocket, it's getting tight. Cedric O'Boyhe did a great job of staying in there, catching the defensive tackle coming around and gave Andy Dalton time. Got all the timeouts. Uzama with the catch for seven more. Now, the Bengals get the ball to start the third quarter. So yep. if they could score here and then do something coming out of the locker, we've got a whole new ball game. Second and three. Now you call a timeout right now. Don't waste. There we go. Catch by Boyd, his second of this series. Again, the Verizon Halftime Report is coming your way. Tony and Coach Cower. They always act like they're working when we show up. Is that how it goes? They Martin just Boomer. continuously work? Or? That's how it works. And the JV doesn't even pay attention to them. I like that. I wouldn't either, JV. Probably talking about this game because I don't care who you are. You've got to be surprised at the domination we've saw, seen so far here in the first half by the Cowboys. Big drive for the Bengals. You see Andy Dalton, 9 of 10 there. Yeah. To me, they need at least a field goal here to give them some momentum going to the second half. Incomplete. Heading back in the direction of Boyd. Just the second incompletion in 12 throws for Dalton. Yeah, good pass protection. Anthony Brown down the field. He's the extra defensive back. All over the coverage, and you know, as I usually when you watch a game on this Cowboys defense, they put a lot of pressure on Claiborne and Brandon Carr to cover one on one. A little easier today, but when they've been one on one, they've been good. Second and ten. It's away from Lawrence on the sideline. Incomplete. That was LaFell trying to work it right off the paint. Well, Demarcus Lawrence, you said it. Here he is. Coming this side, going against second year Cedric O'Boy, he makes Andy Dalton step up, and once he steps up, it kind of ruins the play because now everybody goes into the scramble drill. And Demarcus Lawrence has had a few pressures here in the first half. 25 seconds remaining in the first half, third and 10. Dallas with the blitz. Lawrence unable to bring him down. Dalton on the go, and it's wide of the mark for LaFell. Wow. Just here we go, outside. Boy, Demarcus Lawrence, you know, that four-game suspension. I asked Rod Marinelli, do you really expect him to come and have a presence in the field he goes, oh yes I do absolutely he's in great shape he's the guy on the defense that gives his energy emotion and he was right Huber's punt Cowboys stay away from it 
And it is down at the 10-yard line. Those, those, those fresh legs, Demarcus Lawrence, we'll see if they, how long they hold up. We've seen this, and you know, usually you hit the wall after about three games, but just so far, hey, getting in. It's pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, he's, he was only expected to play about 15 snaps today. Yeah, but I mean, just the Cowboys, just the look Everything the about the Cowboys, gotcha. Gosh, the, the, the young quarterback, his poise is extraordinary. Well, he's going to go to the locker room with a 21-0 lead. Bengals had four drives that resulted in four punts. 150 yards of offense for Cincinnati, 264 for Dallas. And Tracy Wolfson, down to you. Coach, what a start. How were you able to keep this Cincinnati defense just so off balance? Well, the most important thing against these guys is to control the line of scrimmage. I think we've done that. And we made some plays at them. We made some plays out in space. But you got to control the line of scrimmage. they got a real good front. we got to keep it up in the second half. Well, obviously, you've controlled the clock. But what other ways have you been able to contain A.J. Green, just one reception, one target? Well, he, he's a great football player, obviously. So every time you break the huddle, you got to know where he is. We've done some stuff in coverage, but give credit to Mo and to, and to Brandon Carr outside. When they've had him by himself, they've done a good job. But again, the challenge is ahead of us. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right, Tracy. It was won at the line of scrimmage for the Absolutely. Cowboys. Absolutely. Marvin Lewis said whoever wins the line of scrimmage, that's who wins the game. So far, the Cowboys. 21-0 Cowboys. Back with the Verizon Halftime Report after this message and a word from your local station. Look at Elliot runs past everybody, including Iloka for the touchdown. The numbers, well, pretty dominating performance by Dallas every way you look at it. Yep, rush yards, passing yards. Oh man, 15 first downs. Plays a 10 plus, 12 for the Dallas Cowboys, and we'll see how the Cincinnati Bengals what they do and see if they can turn this around. Bailey, sore back and all. He's at about six yards deep. Adam Jones says, nope, I thought about it. All right, let's talk adjustments. What would you do if you were Marvin Lewis? What would you tell him at halftime? Well, you, you know, a couple things. On the defensive side, I think we saw some of those adjustments in the first half. Being more aggressive, you got to take away some of the run plays and make them throw the football down the field. On the offensive side, I would be dis disappointed in my offensive line that did not give Andy Dalton more space so he can look down the field and throw the football. Well, A.J. Green, again, only one catch as he splits wide to the left. That for nine yards. Coming off a 173-yard performance in the win against Miami. Here's the give to Bernard. Giovanni Bernard is written down by Jones, but he rips off a run of 13. Yeah, really good job that time. They get Clint Bowling, the left guard, and Andrew Whitworth, 65 and 77. How about Andrew Whitworth, number 77? All the years in the league, still, still playing well. One of the best blocking, pass blocking left tackles in the NFL. Finally got that out. That was a little hard. Well, he, he's, he's good. He threw a heck of a block, as you said, as Bernard sees a yellow marker come in from behind. Play went for about four yards. Holding offense number 77. Well, there he is. Ten yard penalty and repeat first down. And A.J. Green, back to his story, targeted only once. Just a, again, a reception that went for nine yards. Well, they expect man-to-man -man coverage. Look at it. Everybody just watching the quarterback forming a square where there's nobody open. Made any golf run. And then finally, he says, the heck with that. Nice delay route to the outside. And look, this offense, it evolves around A.J. Green. You've got to create ways to get him the ball to get everybody excited. First and 20. After the holding call on Woodward, Dallas rushes four. Dalton gives it up to Bernard. And 
Tracy, let's go down to you. Well, Jim, I asked Marvin Lewis about A.J. Green, and he said they're just doing a jo good job covering him, but he said they need to protect Andy Dalton better and others need to step up. As far as the defense goes, he told them get back to fundamentals. He said worry about yourselves. We saw them a little bit on the sidelines worrying about too much about each other. He wants them to get back to worrying about themselves, guys. Well, there was a flag, a late flag, deep in the secondary. is a holding call against Dallas. So, well, Tracy said a couple interesting things. Protect Andy Dalton better. And that's right, the old Bill Belichick line that we hear so often. Hey, just do your job. Quit worrying about everybody else. The call is against Mo Claiborne. First and 10, Cincinnati. There is A.J. Green at the 50. He takes in an additional five yards to the Dallas side of the field. Pick up of 22. This is what you can do against this deep zone. Two safeties back, play action, no linebackers there. Look at the big space, open space, to throw it to A.J. Green. That type of play is there against that defense. It's the longest play of the game for the Bengals. You know, they play with such emotion, Dallas. You've got to get some drives together to take that emotion and speed away from it. Play action, and Dalton tries the sideline. And Green was tangled up over that side with Brandon Carr. That's the other thing, too. When they do play man-to-man -man coverage today, everybody always has a plan for A.J. Green. And they were... Rod Marinelli said, nope, Brandon Carr and Morris Claiborne are going to stay where they are, and we'll just, if we play man-to-man, -man, they'll take the guy that's in front of him. Now he's got Carr on, on top of the screen. Second and ten. Dalton goes back to him, bounces off the chest, incomplete. Great coverage. Yeah, Carr all over him. Really good. Top of the screen. Reads him, makes the break, just automatically gets that left hand in front. That is really well done. This is, this is why this defense can play the way it has this year. The corners have been very solid in man-to-man -man coverage. And you saw it on that replay, Jason Garrett applauding the effort of his corner. Brandon Carr helping break that one up. Third down and ten. Pocket sealed, Dalton's throw, knocked down, but a flag on Claiborne. You know, that was a hold that time. It's already been flagged once on this drive. Pass interference, defense number 24. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul and an automatic first down. A holding call earlier on this drive, and now the pass interference. Well, what I like, they changed the formation. Got him inside, you see the hand in front. Anytime you put that hand in front, that impedes the progress. Then he grabbed his other hand, so that was a good call. Easy call. It's a 13-yard penalty, and the football rests at the 33. Bolton dives ahead for one. McLean able to tackle him. Andy Dalton, I think what he really wanted to do was throw this down the end zone to A.J. Green. But as he goes down there, they're like double teaming him. The safety might be standing back there, but out of the corner of his eye, he's always watching where his A.J. Green is. Yeah, Green got knocked down. Second and nine. A pass through the hands of Boyd. Mm. Tough. Expect them to catch it. Not easy, but, you know, when you're not the number one or two receiver on a team, it's just you see so few opportunities to catch the ball. And quite honestly, that gets... Andy Dalton threw it too hard. Those, those type of throws over the middle, you've got to put them right on the body so they can protect themselves. 
Walton's hit only one of his last seven. And it was that pass play to Green for 22. Third and nine. Slides out of pressure, goes to Green, and it's knocked down beautifully by Claiborne. Flag twice on this drive. This time he makes the play in the end zone to gotta deny Green. Yeah, Jim, you got to have a short memory. Little out, he sees Andy Dalton scramble, turns it up, he's there, but Morris Claiborne, what's so awesome about that, he waits to the last second to look up. Chasing, finds it, knocks it down. Boy, great job. They're going to go field goal attempt from 50. With Mike Nugent. Coming off a five field goal performance in the win against the Dolphins. He's 12 out of 13 on the year. And Nugent's kick. Wide left. The Cowboys will take over at the 40. Flaburn D's it up. Nugent. Hooks it wide. Here's the drive chart for the Cowboys with touchdowns on their first three possessions. And now excellent starting point off the missed field goal from the 40. Their first drive of the second half. Begins with Elliott breaking it into the secondary. And it's a foot race and he will not be touched. A 60-yard sprint. You're wondering what a 60-yard time is? Check it out. Same old thing for the Dallas Cowboys. The interior making great blocks, and then Swain, the tight end, comes over and traps Carlos Dunlap, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, Ron Leary. Dominating inside. Longest play of the season for the Cowboys. Man. 60 yards. Bailey adds another point. Elliott now at 128 for the game and two touchdowns. We've seen him today with the power of Emmett Smith and the speed of Dorsett. What a combo. On Monday, Barry Church and Jason Witten attended a forum designed to foster dialogue and strengthen the relationship between law enforcement officers and their communities. Ezekiel Elliott came into the week leading the league in rushing. He's up to another big performance today. As Erickson tackled down at the 21 by Anthony Brown. That's just another play that went exactly the way it was drawn up. Let's watch it, Jim, what happens. Zach Martin, once again, the right guard. Watch the kick out. Happened so quick. Everybody following Jason Witten in man coverage. So nobody back in the middle. There's a second line of defense to stop Ezekiel Elliott. How the, Cow the Cowboys, though, Jim, they needed defensive players in the draft, right? And what did Jason Garrett say? We needed defensive players, but this guy's sitting there. Why? Why do we take him? He could be in the Hall of he Fame. He could be in the it? Hall of Fame. So you don't pass on a player with that kind of ability was his point. Yes. Dalton's running out of room and flips it incomplete. It was a great point. And what just look what it's done to the team. They're dominating on offense. Helps their defense. And boy, Andy Dalton, little shook up. He's going to stay in there. Boy, when you run around as a quarterback towards the, these sidelines, when you see this with so many oh, falls on oh, the back uh, of his foot, too. Uh, left ankle. Mm. He thought the play was over. Mayoa falling on him. Second and ten. He won greatness. you got to take a chance. They did the draft. So far, it looks great. The foul. Church. Tackles him, but it's a first down for Cincinnati. 
Week five continues. Sunday night football. The Giants take on the Packers on NBC. Tomorrow, the Monday night game, Tampa Bay, Carolina. We'll see you Thursday night with the Denver Broncos and the San Diego Chargers. Denver having a very rough time with the Atlanta Falcons today. And while uh, Oakland right now is down 17 to 9 to San Diego. First attempt on the slant. Carr is going to be flagged for it. Had an arm on A.J. Green. Pass interference, defense number 39. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul and an automatic first down. 28 to nothing lead. You can afford to be aggressive. Definitely pulled. A.J. Green. First and ten play. Looking for Green. Deep. And over the top, knocking it away is Jones. This is the way the day goes. Quarterback can't get in rhythm because he feels the pressure, knows he's got to get rid of it. He's got what he wants, but the throw's got to be over here. He leads him up to the field, and it allows Jones to get into the play. Great play by Byron Jones, their first-round pick out of UConn a year ago. Boy, he's, they love what he's doing because he's a safety. He's big and fast, can cover tight ends. But again, Andy Dalton being pushed back in the pocket, couldn't place the ball where he wanted to. Second and ten to Hill. Short side, no real estate. Yeah. Loss of one, brought down by Ryan Davis. They're having a party, the defensive line. They're just... Look at Hill, and the Hill, shaking up. Ryan Davis just fell right on top of him. Pending, couldn't protect himself as he was going down. Hill. They were working that left shoulder. You know, the Dallas offensive line, you know, you kind of expected them to play well. They're so good. But the surprise of the game is the Cincinnati offensive line just not winning the war at all up front against the Cowboys. Cowboys rush four. Dalton. He's got a first down at the 50. Boy, the last time they had it, their opening drive of the third quarter, they had a long drive, missed a field goal, and Dallas scored in one play. Yep, as you look down the field, nobody open, so Andy Dalton does the right thing, pulls the football down and runs. Shook off that little ankle twist he had on the sideline. That's the fourth time he has scrambled on third down play in this game. First and ten. He's not going away this time. He got hit by McLean. Terrell McLean brings him down. Loss of eight. Number 97, Terrell McLean. They like him right on the nose. Watch him moves around. Just overpower overpowers the center. That's one thing they're going to do more of. Jim, he's a big man. He's moves well and they want to put him right there where you see him right there on the edge of the center to try to get situations where he can just beat him one on one second sack by the cowboys and dalton just takes the incompletion as it bounces around a bit let's go to new york for an update down it'll be third down he threw the ball directly forward into a player while the receiver was well outside the pocket therefore no receiver in the area third down well, you got it back in time to seek Tony Corinthians' call, the grounding yep. call. Yep, it, it's a good call. McLean goes outside, takes away the screen, so there's nowhere for Andy Dalton to get rid of the football. you got to throw it somewhere near a receiver when it's behind the line of scrimmage. He was in the pocket. 
So Terrell McLean back to back. Good plays. They have to get all the way to the Cowboys 40 for a first. The screens, the short passing game. Such a big part of the Cincinnati offense not working today. Third and 28. John Lee able to bring down Croft. They gave him all they wanted underneath. It'll be fourth down and bring on the punting unit again for the fifth time. Well, third and long. Look how deep that defense is and only a three-man rush. You have no choice but to throw it underneath and just let them rally and make the tackle. Bucky Whitehead had that ball bounce off his face mask. Raise it and lose it for a minute before recovering on the last tackle in the punting game. Clean cuts this time, no fair catch. Dancing around and take it down at the 20. Forty-four yard boot. Huber tried to act it out for a roughing call. No flag. Dallas leads it 28 nothing and as we approach the midway point of the third quarter and they go back to Elliott for a gain of three and Tracy what's going on in that Cincinnati sideline well Jim as I was watching there was a lot of confusion on this defense between the linebackers and the defensive line remember Marvin Lewis told me each has to worry about themselves a lot of talking, a lot of back and forth, just trying to figure out where to start in terms of getting back on track. Well, I got some advice for you, Tracy. Don't get too close because there's some upset defenders and they're trying to figure out why the mistakes are being made. Second and seven. That's Beasley pulling it down. Out to the 35 and another first. That's too easy. And, you know, they're talking about mistakes and everything like that on the Cincinnati Bengals sideline, but really it just comes down to this. You're just losing the one-on-one -on -one battles all the way across the board. And there's the offensive line of the Cowboys dominating. Wide receivers when they need to are getting open. Oh, nobody's open. Dak Prescott makes a play. And his decision-making has been absolutely perfect today. Now they were able to stop the run that time. It will be just a gain of two. Tony Romo sitting and watching right now and anticipating that he could be back after their bye week. He could be back the last weekend of October. Well, I would say I don't think he could be ready that quick, Jim. I don't know his injury. We talked. He's still not throwing the football, working out full speed, all those things. Uh, it would be great if he would for himself. I know he wants to be part of this action. Second and eight. That's Williams. He's got first down yardage. Well. The way the Cowboys are going right now, winning, there's already people around here saying, well, what will they do if Tony, once he does get healthy, would they go back to Romo and put Prescott as the backup? What do you think they would do? Here's what they want. They want it to be a controversy. Why, Jim? Why, Jim? Well, because that means, that means they're winning. That means they're winning, and the quarterback is playing well. So that'll be a good problem for Jason Garrett to have if that time comes. If they keep rolling like this, you know, they're not going to make a change if it keeps I mean, this is an exceptional game here so far today. So you don't have to make that decision now. You wait till that time comes and you make a decision on the play, his help, and the play of the quarterback and the football team. Well, for the first time today, they're able to get to Zeke Elliott early. And Sims dumps him for a six-yard loss. 
And all these injuries going back to 08, a broken finger, collarbone, then the disc that's been problematic here. The back fracture again in 14, collarbone last year. We were here on Thanksgiving when it was right. injured again. And then the vertebrae fractured in the preseason game at Seattle. Look, if they're still going well, then you go with this, you go with this premise. He's not ready yet. And then you, the, if they're playing well, the quarterback's playing well, you can give him the extra week or two or whatever you need until he's really going to come back. Cowboys called the timeout. Came from the sideline before that second and 16 snap. Pink uh, shoes being worn by many players today. Our eye bar in pink. Second and 16. And Witten has the grab. It'll be third and long coming up. Tracy, back down to you. Well, Jim, I spoke with Tony Romo before the game, and he said he feels good. He's moving around well. He has another MRI this week, and that will tell him a lot. He has yet to practice, though, with the team, and he still doesn't have a target date set for his return. He said it's all about getting to the point where the bone in his back is strong enough, Jim. Yeah, it's been that same issue with that disc for a couple of years now. Here's a third and nine. Beasley turning around on Michael Johnson and picks up the first. Oh, it looked like when he caught it, they might be able to stop him a couple of yards short of the first, but very wisely maneuvered around the bigger defensive end and picked up 11 and a first down. An in and out route, and Prescott gets hit by the blitzing safety, Sean Williams. But Cole Beasley went inside, fake, stops. Watch how quick he is. Gets out of the break. And then. Hard to tackle in that open field. Yeah, wiggles right around Vincent Ray after he got past Johnson. Cowboys drive it again. That'll set him back five. Ronald Leary moved early. start. Offense, number 65. Five-yard penalty remains first down. Let's take a look at next-gen stats. Well, it's a back... Dak Prescott finding the second receiver, and every week he gets better at it. As you look at the numbers down below, he sees the safety's rotating one way, looks it off, throws a beautiful pass inside, and I think if you said anything, the line has been great, but his decision-making, finding the next receiver has been eye-popping almost today. Really, really good by him. Of course, he was trained, like I said, at Mississippi State. He did this well in college. He's carried it over to the front. Crosses it to Elliott. Blockers in front. Up and down at about the 42. Well, at Mississippi State, Dak Prescott set 38 school records. Wow. He's the all-time passer there. And at one time his junior year, they actually got to number one in the rankings. He was number two. Well, Mississippi. That was, well, they had this, Ole yeah. Miss and Mississippi that? State right up there at the top. And, yeah. But he did point out to us yesterday that that really in many ways because all that attention helped prepare him to be once he was called on to be the quarterback of America's team. That's what he said. Yeah, but they run under such scrutiny. The spotlight was on him every week. A lot of football in college too. Screen pass. Elliott hurdles and kicks it to the 20. It, it's just everything. The little fake reverse. They got the screens, the bootlegs, the quarterback movement, the power running game. They ran the reverse early. It worked. This time they throw the screen off of it. I love that when teams have a play that works. Then you get the addendum, the next play off of it. We just saw that with the Cowboys with the screen. 22-yard gain with that one. And now up to 170 yards from scrimmage Ezekiel Elliott and the offensive line go go with Alfred Morris as he spells Elliott picks up a couple 
Aerial coverage of today's game is provided by DirecTV. Hmm. It's been a beautiful weekend here in the yes, Dallas-Fort Worth area. Beautiful, yeah, not for a bit of bad weekend for the Bengals so far, that's for sure. E.J. Green looking on. Not the way Andy Dalton wanted to return home. Morning. Second and eight. Here's Prescott to the end zone, and it's hacked away. Patrick got a hand in there, denied Witten. Really good job. Once again, they had what they wanted on the offensive side. And Drake Kirkpatrick double move. How about spin all the way around and still get in there and make the play? Former first round draft pick has really come around and become a really good NFL corner. We saw Sean Williams, the safety, come in at the end and try to put a hit on Witten just in case he caught it. Witten acted like he didn't even know he was made contact with. <laughs> Williams was just went straight to the ground. Witten playing in his 208th straight game. Here's a third and eight. Prescott, ball out. Still on the ground, and Kirkpatrick tried to run with it. Now Ray has it. He's not down yet. Looked like he thought about maybe handing it off to someone. So Terrence Williams was hurt trying to recover that. This is the first giveaway by Prescott on the season. Still no pick, but his first fumble lost, and Cincinnati will take over. People affected by severe weather and other disasters need help now. To support those impacted by Hurricane Matthew, text Matthew to 90999. Each text is a $10 gift to American Red Cross Hurricane Relief. Carlos Dunlap forced that forced that turnover. His mom and dad came in two days early, and their family resides in Charleston to get out ahead of the hurricane. Here's a first down carry by Gio Bernard. Stacked up by the Cowboys. It's the first time Prescott's turned it over the whole season. Well, at least he got something to yell at him about on the film session tomorrow. I don't know. So, but didn't feel it. It was a wide open receiver. That's why he was trying to hang in there and throw it. That's the end of the third quarter. Dallas 28, Cincinnati nothing. We'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Completes the throw to the rookie, Tyler Boyd. Picks up six for Boyd. That is his third catch. And they're going to try to move things with a little quicker pace. Third and one. Bernard goes laterally for a moment, then dives near the yardage. He's going to have the first. But I would keep the pace. I'd go no huddle. Keep this pace fast. You need four scores. Tough to do. Hard to get the football three or four times in a quarter in the NFL. Three Cowboys on him at the 45. Tracy, right back down to you. Well, you see Giovanni Bernard out there now. Jeremy Hill remains on the bench. They checked him out briefly. They were looking at the collarbone area. They are calling it a chest injury. His return is questionable. And as for Dallas wide receiver Terrence Williams, they say it's a right shoulder injury. He may return, Jim. Well, Williams probably not needed here for the rest of the way. Had a four catch. 59 yard day before being hurt. Dalton. Uzama with the reception. He's slow to get up. It's quite a two week stretch for Cincinnati. You come down here, you take on a Dallas team, riding a three game win streak and showing us why. And then next week's going to head to New England, taking on a Patriot team that gave us a little look at. Little what, what what it's like with Tom Brady back in the lineup. 
It means all out the assault by their offense. That's what it means. First down. Dalton. From behind. That's the third sack of the game for Dallas. Couldn't tell who got there first. It could be McLean once again. He was at some day. 97. Fights his way through. Along with Jack Crawford. That, that's the story. You know, there's so many stories here today, but this the offensive line with Bengals just it's a huge surprise getting pushed around. Second and 13. The catch by LaFell. Boy, Jason Garrett. If you watch this, said to us, you know, you do all these things, work with your football team, trying to get it ready for the season. They lose the opener, and he talked about how big the set, that first victory in Washington was for just what they were as a team to, to validate what he keeps preaching to them. You know, players need victories to start listening to the coach. And you got to figure out ways when you face adversity to get down to the fourth quarter and win the game, which they did in Washington, third and five. And that's first down catch at the 21. Remember last year, all the injuries decimated by injuries. But he pointed out even still, 12 of the 16 games were a one score, either leading or within one score going to the fourth. Yeah, we, I saw just about every one of them, it seemed like. And it, it was offense making mistakes. The game was tied. The defense would give up a big play for a touchdown. It was blamed to go all around. They did not handle adversity well. The team now. Week two victory. That was adversity going there. And when you go on to this league, it's tough sometimes to recover. Dalton to Green. And Wilcox picks him up and throws him down. But a gain of 14 this time. Yep, good catch and throw by Andy Dalton. Get rid of the football fast before the safety can come over and knock the football down. First time in the red zone today for Cincinnati. Third catch. For Green for 45 yards. First and goal. Dalton lobs it. Back of the end zone. Touchdown. Brandon LaFell. The former Patriot with his first touchdown as a member of the Bengals. Yeah, really good job. A play you see all the time. Try to throw it short to the man there. Cover him. Throw it behind Andy Dalton stepped up in the pocket. Nice job by him. Good job by LaFell. Thank for LaFell. That's his first touchdown since Super Bowl 49. He had a Super Bowl touchdown in the Patriots Super Bowl victory against Seattle. Nugent. Adds the extra point. So it took a little more than three quarters. Cincinnati finally on the board. Dalton to LaFell. Brandon LaFell, number 11, has just caught the touchdown from Andy Dalton. Here we go. What do you think? Dallas playing onside kick safe. I do not think they will onside kick here, but one man back. And that man is Whitehead at the 20. There's you a lot talking. of space out here, Phil. Boots that football down and get him, get him deep. Very good, guy. good kick. Whitehead. I think if you could find a way to just to get it over the top of that first line and that ball rolling around a little bit, give yourself a chance of recovery. I'm taking you here next time we come this way. Joe Teak Garcia is a family-run business for ages over in the Fort Worth area. Well, all right. All right. Don't talk about it. We'll sit outside the courtyard. First and ten, and Dunlap smothers Alfred Morris. He'll have a choice of only two items. That's it. Beef okay. and chicken and uh, fajitas or cheese enchiladas. Okay. I like my choices. I can always find what to eat. You know, it's one of my strong suits in life. You know, I'm a 
trying to keep that 300 pound man from coming out in my body one day. And here we go. This is, you know, you still nine and a half minutes, three scores. Cincinnati needs to get a three and out here against this offense. Prescott. Over to Witten for about five. We've got another update. JB and Boomer in the studio. Oh, Boomer. Oh, I heard Boomer. Yeah, Boomer likes to do that. Hey, Boomer, I had touch. Be nice. I, 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 just, I know I just, what you're thinking. I, I bit my lip. Here we go. It's a big third down, though, for this, this defense. Smith is the running back. And he gets the football. And he gets sandwiched at the 26. Three and out. That's what they needed. Dallas played it very conservative. And rightly so. Well, you got a returner in Adam Jones who has five career punt returns for touchdowns. And we've already had a number of uh, runbacks today. Just one of those days in early action. There were three of them. Well, Adam Jones... Maybe there's a fourth. He's timeless. His old running mate, Terrence Newman, up in Minnesota, 38 years old, still playing corner and doing having a terrific year with the Vikings defense. Spiral on its way. What a punt. No chance for a return. That was angled right on the sideline. Wilcox was there to greet him. But Cincinnati comes back out after that 51-yard punt. Brady comes back. Oh, Gronkowski's back. Dalton. Open. Bernard. Quick first down for Cincy. Gain of 11. Yeah, they're going to be really a very fast pace. Somewhere when you're down three scores like this, Jim, seven and a half minutes to go, less than that, you got to find a way to at least get a shot at a big play. Dalton, they're on him, and he's down at the 21. Ryan Davis. Yep, they're picking on the right tackle, Cedric O'Brahe. They've had Demarcus Lawrence over there, and now they bring in Ryan Davis. He's fresh. Holding defense number 56, a five-yard penalty. An automatic first down. Well done, Durant. So forget about the 10-yard sack. A 10-yard sack would have basically sealed the game. Five-yard step off, ball at the 39. New set of downs. To the hold. 56 in the middle right there. Grabs Uzama. From the 39. Nice catch, but on him right away is Barry Church. That's Bernard with the grab. Tonight, artificial intelligence is already a big part of your life, even if you don't know it. But what's coming next, you need to see to believe. Plus the big Hollywood star who didn't make it until he was 50 years old. That's tonight on 60 Minutes, only CBS. Nine in a row for Andy Dalton. Cowboys on him again. Mayoma. Nick Mayoa. I should say Vincent Mayoa and Terrell McClain. Well, McClain comes all the way around. Watch that. It just when you play a soft defense, it makes the quarterback hold the football about a half a second more and then allow McClain to come all the way around with Mayoa to get the sack. Boy, Mayoa, he's had some fine moments in this one. Fourth yes. year player out of Idaho. Free agent who was with the Raiders last. Cowboys up to four sacks in a timeout Cincy. Best inside, six minutes to go. And Cincinnati back at its own 40 with a third and nine coming up. Dalton again fighting for time and it's Bernard bouncing around and Lee 
was able to pound him out of bounds as well as Wilcox. And they'll go for it here on fourth. Yeah, boy, Ryan Davis, another guy. We talked about McLean today. We're saying it, but uh, the defensive front for the Cowboys got to be, they got to be happy. Again, Ryan Davis on the outside makes Andy Dalton step up. Now you can't see anything. Got to throw on the run. Fourth and three. Get the first down with Green. He's able to get the body position on Flavor and gain a five. Well, top of the screen, one on one. Little stop route, good throw. First down, they needed a course on fourth down, but the problem is this drive is slow. They can't get it down the field. Well, look at Green now yep. coming up, Gimpy. Protect them this time. Again, they go underneath. Time is running down. Seven-yard gain to Bernard. Well, you know, listen, everybody's going at home. Why don't they throw it down the field? Well, one, the quarterback doesn't have time, and two, there's nobody open. Twelve consecutive completions. They get 13. Uzama to the 34 and a first. Rod Marinelli would sit over and say, this is what we do. This is the best thing we do. We can bleed a drive. In other words, you're going to have to keep throwing it short. And we're going to keep making the tackle. Dallas stacks four on the line. They've rushed four most of the day and gotten pressure. They bring the fifth this time. And Dalton continues his hot hand. As LaFell takes it out of bounds near the 20. Next Sunday, regional action on CBS, including Cincinnati at New England, Baltimore at the Giants, plus other regional action. And it all starts at noon Eastern with the NFL today. First down for Dalton. Pump fake going to the end zone this time. And, uh oh, tapped away by Claiborne. What a play. It looked like it was going to go for six, didn't it? Yeah, he threw it exactly where he wanted. Nice pump fake to the middle. Kept the safety the inside. And Morris Claiborne, wow, good timing. He had a tremendous interception, I thought, last week against the San Francisco 49ers. Just played the ball great. That's one of the reasons why I think the Cowboys are so optimistic. You, we've seen quite a few good plays by him and Brandon Carr here today, right? Yeah, no question. And that incompletion, by the way, ends Dalton's career best of 14 straight completions. Uzama to the 12, and that make that Croft. Tyler Croft with the catch. Bottom of the screen, they bring in Cody Core, a rookie out of Ole Miss. We've seen very little action. There's Frost again, and they say he did not get out of bounds. You know, all we think of situations like this is they're trying to shift and get some different defensive linemen in there, but you can call timeout on the defensive side, too, to let your guys rest and get them ready for one or two more pushes at the quarterback. And look who's back out here. A.J. Green at the bottom. Got to think he might look his way. He is. Goes and goes underneath. And Stan LaFell has another touchdown. Took a lot of time, but they finally got it down there. Nice throw route. LaFell in the slot. Up the field, and Andy Dalton boy just slices it right through his body. That's how you throw these little outcuts. Took them five minutes and three seconds to go to 77 yards. LaFell with his second touchdown of the quarter. Oh 
28-14 with the PAT. Obviously got an onside kick coming up, and Dallas did have it 28-0 and looked like it might be going in again. Witten was the target in the end zone. It was a nice play by Kirkpatrick to knock it away. The next play it was a fumble. Since that time, has been a late flurry here. Momentum shift, but not enough time, probably. I don't think so. Recover the onside kick. This is all about even if they get it, they got to score and do it again. So it's hard to do that. Uh, so, but hey, look, you and I, and we, know. we know better than call right. the ends. Not call it yet. But we've, we've eaten a few of them, so we're careful. But that was a really, it's hard to say this, but it was a good drive by the Dallas defense. They made them eat up a lot of time. And really, they got a great break on the defensive hold when they had a sack on Andy Dalton. The Bengals did. Man. Jason Garrett pacing the sideline going, man, nothing's ever easy in this league. The Raiders have just scored another touchdown. They were down to San Diego 24-16 and now suddenly lead it 34-24. They're about two minutes into the fourth quarter. And Denver's fallen for the first time. Atlanta beat them. Side kick on the ground. Oh, that was some and catch. How about Ezekiel Elliott is the one who recovers it? That was almost an in-betweener, and I don't know if he got it before it hit the ground or he just smothered it. Oh, he caught it in an in-between hop. Well, Thursday, again, your weekend will start right here the Broncos and the Chargers a little AFC West action always an intense rivalry game we'll have it for you Denver at San Diego Thursday night Fawcett Elliott got a gain of one we've got an update back to you JB we will see you Thursday night. Thank you, JB and Boomer. Well, he's Mike gonna, Pope, the tight ends coach for the Cowboys. He's going to get mad that I talked about him, but I don't care. Mike Pope been in the NFL 33 years, 32 as a tight end coach with me many years with the New York Giants. He's not been feeling well. I'm just going to say that, but he is in it for the players. He is a tremendous coach, and his players have always done well, the tight ends. We've got Jason Witten here, and I know they have a great relationship. That's got, oh, perfect is the one who knocked him back. Well, let me just tell you about Mike Pope real quick. Training camp, there's about 100 guys in training camp. There's about 10 guys that want to stay at the practice and catch passes. None of them have a chance of making the team. I stay out and throw to them. We're done. I'm like, okay, Mike, I understand I did it. Why did we do that? You know none of these guys are going to make the team. And he says, Phil? I don't pick the players. I just coach the guys that want to be coached. And I just turned around and said, Shush. felt kind of stupid. And he was right. That's what he does. He coaches and been a lifer in the NFL. And I know he's got many friends out there in the coaching profession wish him well. What a gentleman. Marcel's disciple. And right. Jason brought him down here. Jason brought him down here. They've known each other. And boy, he had Mark Bavaro. Work with a lot of good tight ends. Third and seven. And the Cowboys find Williams, who was shaken up earlier. He comes back out, makes another grab. You know, they do so many little things today I saw in person well. Terrence Williams, top of the screen, just sold it, and it was just a Beautiful soft throw out there by Dak Prescott to, to end this game. Two minute warning. Cowboys about to put the finishing touches on a fourth consecutive victory. And just a couple of snaps. Cincinnati can't stop it. You know what? This Dallas Cowboys team's not starting to, it's not just a feel good story anymore, is it? It's a little more in depth than I think. It is more than I thought as I watch this team play today.
Well, you got Prescott now up to with uh, 18 of 24 today, 75 percent. He's hit over 70 percent of his passes in in four of the five games. Wow. And he's now up to 156 pass attempts without an interception. That's the longest by any rookie starting his career. The longest ever for anybody starting a career that's not a rookie since uh, Brady didn't play that first year. He went up to 162 before he threw his first pick. So I don't know if you remember your first, but it hasn't happened yet for Dak. Yeah, well, I didn't go that long. I'll, I'll just say this. The great story. We were so excited to watch Dallas's offensive line against Cincinnati's defensive line. It never came about. Dallas all the way from the start to the finish. We've got uh, bonus coverage coming up of the Buffalo game at the L.A. Coliseum. And it's a tight one against the, the Rams there. Cowboys, as Coach Garrett has a victory handshake with Mark Sanchez. Dallas goes to 4-1. and one. Half game better than Philadelphia, which is at 3-1. and one. Eagles had a bye last week, lost today. And there it is. And Ezekiel Elliott, 15 carries, 134 on the ground, and a couple of touchdowns. He has more yards through five games than any Cowboy rusher ever through the first five games of his career. It's pretty impressive when you talk about Tony Dorsett and then Smith. Great running backs. Calvin Hill. Don Perkins, too. <laughs> Dallas is four and one. Its only loss was week one. By one to the Giants here. The final score is Dallas 28 and Cincinnati 14. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes, followed by CBS News coverage of the second presidential debate for Bill and Tracy. Jim Nance saying so long from Dallas. Time now for bonus coverage of Buffalo and Los Angeles.